Hi everybody, and today you find the Exiled Yellow Belly on a beautiful Sunday morning at St Mary's Church in Hardwick. This really is a beautiful place. Now, I came here a few weeks ago when I was mooching around the graveyard. Uh, I know that's a bit morbid, but that's, that's what I do. And uh, as I was walking over here, I turned around to look at the church, and in the distance, by the wall there, I could see a tomb. Now, on this tomb, I could see some kind of plate, and on that plate, I could see some lettering. I couldn't read it, so, as usual, uh, curiosity kills the cat, and off I went to have a look and see what it said. Now, at this point, I have to say, because I'm sure you will see from the lack of continuity, that I accidentally deleted the next part of the video. So here I am, months later, filling in the missing bit. So here we go. So, here we are, back again, at this plate. On this plate, it says, within are deposited the bones of 247 persons who were discovered AD 1818, buried in a field adjoining Holman's Bridge near Aylesbury. From the history and appearance of the place, where they were found, they were concluded to be the remains of those officers and men who perished in an engagement fought AD 1642 between the troops of King Charles I under the command of Prince Rupert and the garrison who held Aylesbury for the Parliament. Enemies from their attachment to opposite leaders and to opposite standards in the sanguinary conflicts of that civil war. They were together victims to its fury united in one common slaughter. They were buried in one common grave close to the spot where they had lately stood in arms against each other. After the lapse of more than a century and a half, their bones were collected and deposited together still in consecrated ground. May the memory of brave men be respected and may our country never again be called to take part in a contest such as that which this tablet records. And this was erected by the late Lord Nugent. Well, that's the sign. And this is the tomb where the bones that were found at Holman Bridge were, were laid to rest. Now, hopefully, that video that I just made of the plate on the tomb has joined the one that I did before to the one that I did after. Now, I'm really hoping so because I don't want to come back and have to do another one. So all I will say now is that now I've done the plate bit, we are now going to move on to find where the battle supposedly took place at Holman Bridge. Fingers crossed. So here I am at the supposed site of the Battle of Aylesbury, Holman Bridge, which embarrassingly is a quarter of a mile away from my front door. And I have driven over this little brick road bridge twice a day for 10 years and never had a clue. So why, when I've lived here for 38 years, have I never heard of this battle and its casualties? It's probably because most English Civil War historians don't believe that it really even happened. So what is the story of the battle, if it indeed did happen? Well, on the 1st of November 1642, Royalist forces under Prince Rupert, with a force of several thousand troops, rode out to here at Holman Bridge to confront a brigade of parliamentary troops numbering around 1,500 men under the command of Sir William Balfour. The battle ended with Rupert retreating after losing some 500 of his men.
Well, in 1818, after excavations on a field at Holman Bridge, the remains of a lot of bodies were found in graves in this field. Now, a lot of them were set out as though they were officers, as they were in graves individually rather than being dumped in one grave. So they took them and buried them in a common grave, as we know now, at Hardwick Village Churchyard. Now the problem with that is, is that historians have now found better ways of finding out about these things. And they now believe that the bones may be much earlier than are actually Anglo-Saxon. And in fact, the actual event of the Battle of Holman Bridge of Aylesbury may all be a complete fabrication. One of the reasons being that on the day of that battle, it seems that Prince Rupert was actually in Abingdon. Secondly, the forces of Aylesbury, in Aylesbury and around Aylesbury, of the Cavaliers and the Roundheads were very small. Aylesbury wasn't thought of as a very big place. And if the battle actually did happen, it may have just been a skirmish. On top of that, it would also seem that just recently some investigation has been taken out on where the site of the graves was and they found that they couldn't find any site of any graves in that particular part of the fields of Holman Bridge. Now, I don't know. I mean, the other thing I did find that there is actually no report apart from in one, which may be a pamphlet that was brought out for propaganda reasons, of any battle ever in Aylesbury, which is why they think it may, if it occurred at all, was just a minor skirmish. Well, me personally, I want to do a bit of battle of Holman Bridge just outside my house. Um, and I, until it's actually disproved, I'm going to go along with it. I'm just coming up to the fields, which are on the side. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at that. Um, because let's remember, whatever happens, whatever's occurred, there definitely was a load of bones buried in Hardwick Churchyard. So uh, let's just think, you know, that there was a battle somewhere, and uh, whether it was whether it was in the times of the English Civil War or whether it was much early, earlier in Anglo Anglo-Saxon times, could be the Battle of Holman Bridge between I don't know Bodicea or somebody. But anyway. I'm going to just show you the fields um, where Holman Bridge is. It's a bit noisy here, even early on a Sunday morning, it's very noisy. But uh, I hope this has come out all right on the mic, otherwise it'll have to be a voice. So this is the back of Holman Bridge. I'm now on the side of the fields. So as you walk up, you can still see the uh, the brick bridge. I mean, I don't know what sort of bridge it was in, in those days. But, uh, you know, as I say, it's just a little brick bridge that I've crossed over so many times. Look at this little wooden bridge here now. You can go over over the little river and there is the the bridge Holman Bridge and then if we come down here this is the fields on your left where I would presume is where maybe actually in our eye line where the bodies were found of the bodies of 
the people at Hardwick Churchyard. So, anyway, I'm going to do some more research on the Battle of Holman Bridge. And, um, hopefully, we will, hopefully we will find out more about it. Because I don't really want to just leave it there. But I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you did, please be kind enough to give me a thumbs up. I've got absolutely no idea how all that works, but apparently it's very helpful. And if you could possibly subscribe and ding the little bell so that you can watch it again, or watch another one at another time, um, I'd be much appreciative. So until then, thank you very much. And uh, really hope you enjoyed it. And bye for now.